here in the beautiful fence green pastures of Suck Farm Park in Holly Springs. It's quiet now, but on September 27th, this place will be rocking with one of the Triangle's largest beer festivals, Beer Akana. More than 40 brewers will be here to provide us with great samples of amazing craft beer. Props? Sorry, sorry. You don't want to miss it. Get your tickets now. Hi, I'm Glenn. Uh, welcome to another episode of NC Beer Buzz, Days Behind the Camera. And we're continuing our journey through uh, Boone today. We're out at the Appalachian Mountain Brewery on Boone Creek Drive with Nathan and Chris, the brewers here. And they've invited us in to talk about the beer here and what they've got going on and what you might know about them in the future. And we invite you to come in and have a beer with these guys the next time you're in Boone or the area. So thanks for having us in. Thanks for coming. Pleasure. Great. Sure. So, uh, how long have you guys been brewing? Uh, we, we've been brewing in this location for about a year and a half now. Okay. Um, we, uh, we, we started up with the fermentation science course uh -huh. at the Ivory Tower mm -hmm. there at ASU and, uh, and soon after started the Appalachian Mountain Brewery with uh, Sean and Stephanie. And yeah, okay. here we are. Now you guys obviously have the brew background. Does Sean and Stephanie have the business background or also their yep. brewers? Uh, they're, they're, they're the business behind us. Okay, so they, do the, they come on the business side, yep. bring you guys in for the beer towel. That's right. Okay. And what's the system here? What are we brewing on? Uh, ten barrel uh, system. Oh, yeah. We got a ten barrel system. Uh, we're uh, actually just doubled up our fermentation capacity. We got a bunch of twenty barrels in, so we're going to be launching cans here in about two months um, right. of uh, the Black Gold Porter, Long Leaf IPA, and Honey Badger Blonde. And before the cans, we've only had draft. Yeah, and only, only available here and a few accounts uh, around. Yeah, we're at several accounts yeah. around town. But not widely distributed, even the draft. No, not at all. So, so uh, yeah. you're going to do self distribution of the cans, or how are you going to get the cans? Yeah, out? we're going to self distribute all the cans. We're hoping to get into the Asheville, the Winston Salem, and Charlotte markets with the capacity that we have here. And um, that should be happening in the next two months, like they can say. Is there some way that a drinker can know? Uh, Appalachian Mountain Brew. Is there any uh, similarities between and across the brew styles? Um, we're pretty pretty well all across the board. Uh, yeah, so you brew so everything. With uh, the past year and a half, if you've been been up here, we've we've brewed about 42 different styles. Okay. So um, and I mean, so far, it's personal preference kind of. I mean, uh, what and, you and, know and, is good and what hits. And well, and just. Seasonality. Uh -huh. So we love to brew. I love to drink with the seasons and and some flagships that you always have on. Yeah, like the Scottish Ale okay, and, the, and, and the uh, and the Black Gold Porter and the Long Leaf and the, then you rotate in some of the others as seasoned or mood strikes you. Right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So we're brewing everything. We're actually launching our first um, uh, saison brew, Brett, uh, next week. Okay. So. That's uh, we've brewed maybe six different styles in the saison. So as the season changes, we we, we brew a different saison. We love Belgian Golden Strongs, Dark Belgians, Imperial Stouts, um, Hefeweizens, uh, Kolsch's. What we like to say is that we brewed a style. So if you're thinking about what an ESB is or what an amber is, this is going to be very pretty close to what we feel kind of the, the guidelines are for that particular style. You're not you're not all about pushing the envelope of style. Well, yeah. we, we do as well. You know, we did a collaboration brew that with Fanta Flora and Morgan that was a coffee IPA. We put uh, pomelos and blood oranges into a saison before. So so yeah, you so push the style when you know that's what you're exactly. doing. Right. You don't you don't push the style by accident. Exactly. You brew two style generally. Otherwise, yeah. But you don't, that's, that doesn't you don't let that limit your creativity. Right. Absolutely. Well, well, one of my favorite beers that'll be coming back out in December is our Smoky Mountain Schwartz, which we we uh, we smoke about uh, half the grist bill with hickory wood mm -hmm. out back, and so we, we we literally smoke all the grain ourselves, so we know that we get the right smokiness. And then it's a Schwartz is a dark lager, so you know it takes we uh, we lager it for about two months, and uh, and then uh, put it on top. It's a beautiful beer. So you reference uh, uh, the, going to cans. You gonna do a bubble can unit, or what do you think? Oh, we have our. Uh, you have a, a can line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have oh, a can line. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We have a can line in house. Uh -huh. So. Uh, and that's a new acquisition, or you had it always and just didn't use it yet? A uh, new acquisition. Okay. Absolutely. With the with the tanks, um, as as well as. Uh, so even in a year and a half or two, 
you've already seen enough success to step up your game a little bit. Absolutely, and we're, we're also uh, launching the Hard Mountain. Country. Yeah, I want to talk about the side. Okay. And just okay. That's a little bit <laughs> so what do you attribute your initial success to? This is kind of out of the box pretty quick. I, I, a couple years. Um, I don't guess you imagined it being successful so quickly. I, I, I didn't expect hope. so. Hope. <laughs> uh, Boone has been our background. It, uh, they've, they've really Local boards? No. But, uh, I was born and raised in Nashville, actually. Okay. So, see, and uh, we moved up here in about seven years ago, so we've been here for a while. Uh -huh. Um, and you know, just love the high country. Uh, we also actually went public, so we're a publicly traded company. All right. Um, we're the third publicly traded company in brewery. in brewery, sorry, in the United States. I was trying to say that's very rare. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we yeah. So, uh, so we are. Uh, so you're stockholders, and and then you also got stockholders to keep satisfied. That's, that's correct. That's true. Yeah. So, uh, so we're um, seeing a lot of this growth from um, from. Our success here, also people who have faith in what we're going to do. You talk about a fun shareholders meeting. You need to come to these guys. Yeah. Shareholders. <laughs> we want to buy one share and get invited to the shareholders meeting. You know they get free beer. They got to get free beer to the shareholders. Cheers. <laughs> so you told me something off camera. You just alluded to it. You're getting ready to do a cider program. Yeah. What's yep. that going to be about, and why? What motivates you to do that? Um, you know, we were we've been on this like local kick, so we've been using a lot of river bend malt and stuff, and. We've been bugged up for a long time to do a gluten-free beer. I just can't get a hold of putting enzymes and, and changing, you know, the, all this other stuff in mm -hmm. the beer. So we're like, well. So you don't do a gluten-free beer for that reason. And you don't feel like it's authentic. I, I, yeah, I just can't get behind it. And then we, you know, we're looking around, and North Carolina is one of the, uh, you know, the second highest producers of apples in the country. So. We, uh, and go particularly down, this area. And particularly right. this area. Not, not I mean, down east, where I'm from, building in the state. Right? Absolutely. So we're, I mean, this in the high country, we have tons of farms around here. And so um, actually, all of our uh, apples come from the farm about 20 minutes away. Um, and uh, we just we just started doing it. How and, different is cidering from? Brewing? Oh, it's, uh, I mean, like, like I said, we are educated in the fermentation sciences. So um, it's, it's more like making wine. Okay. It's um, the same equipment. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's similar, but but at the same time, we're trying to take the brewing aspect and bring it into cider. So we're going to be releasing our uh, mint cider, our hibiscus rose cider, our uh, we're calling it the Mystic Dragon, um, ginger, ginger, dry hop, dry hop with honey, um, okay. all sorts of stuff that we're going to come out with, and hopefully that will be released in cans. Too. And what's the alcohol content of those ciders? Um, they range from about six and a half to five percent. Is that the future of AMB, or that's just going to add jump? That's something you will always also do. I, I, I think that it is something that we're going to grow in conjunction. Like I think the the brewery, like I said, it's a the pub company is a public umbrella. So so we are going to be brewery. a brewery always, and beer will always be there. But I, I feel this is like another direction that you, you need to try and see what the marketplace. Feedback. Cider is a, a great market, and it's going even faster than the beer market is. Yeah, we, 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 we've had a great. You know this spot. better than I do. Are there other uh, cider markets in North Carolina? Uh, how many? There are a few others. others. It's, it's kind of you know urban like the down breweries Ashford. were back in the early '90s. So uh -huh. you're kind of seeing this trend come up as well. Yeah. So. So, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, we've had a great response with uh, people trying our cider and their lover. So we decided good. to make more of it, right? Sounds good. <laughs> now, and I didn't know either. I saw a food truck park outside that I misunderstood. It's your food truck. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you might see in uh, Appalachian Mountain, is it branded A and B? Absolutely. So you might see the A and B food truck around. I guess Boone. I don't know how far you travel. Mostly here. <laughs> so, so hit up the A&B food truck when you see them out Farmers there too. Market too they probably can't serve you a beer off the food truck, but they can serve you some good beer. And a lot of the food is infused with the beer and used for beer recipes. Absolutely. So if you like uh, your food and beer mixed, buy off the food truck. Just thought it was good. Absolutely. So what are we not, when do people come to tap for an hour so they can come drink, sample beer? Um, or tap room hours? Right now, it's four until the party stops. And then uh, dur during Monday through uh, through Thursday, Friday is three till blank, and then fr and 
Saturday. So late afternoon after work kind of thing. Yeah. Absolutely. And live events, I guess. Mm -hmm. Thursday often. through Saturday. Oh, every, all, every night. Yeah. Uh, some yeah. kind of live Yeah, event. yeah, yeah. We got stuff going on uh, all the time. Open mic night is on Wednesday, trivia is on Tuesday, and then we do a great program called uh, Art Art Draw? Drink and Draw? Drink and Draw. So, so you, we, uh, we have a bunch doodle of doodle on the, some paper that's on the tables, and so cool. it's a yeah. great way to get, yeah, yeah. get some creativity in your drinking life. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. It's a good Thanks time. Thanks for having us in. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers. Appreciate it. So when you guys get a chance, next in Boone, uh, Boone Creek Road. Did that Boone Creek Drive. Drive. Boone Creek Drive. Go get it set. <laughs> Check out half Watching Mountain Brewery. <laughs> Come give Nathan and Chris a try. See what you think of the brewery. Until next time, remember this is Dency Beer Guys. Drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.